Hey YouTube, this is a quick video I'm going to do as a video response for Low Buck Prepper. He is celebrating 1,500 subscribers. And look, any of y'all out there that are subscribed to me, it don't matter what your interests are, go take a peek at Low Buck Prepper. Yeah, he's into the prepping, a little bit into firearms and stuff like that, but he's got a very entertaining channel. He's just a great down-to-earth real guy. This 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 could be your next door neighbor. You know, go over and drink a beer with or maybe in his case a mixed drink. <laughs> um he wanted well for his contest. He wanted to know something about a budget uh for prepping. And hey low buck. Um I'm not a prepper per se. It's kind of uh ingrown into our lifestyle because of where we live. But um, what I would suggest, and I probably won't be the only one, is that you take a serious look at, at part of your budget for storage. Uh, whether it be shelving or, um, you know, cabinets, uh, which you can build yourself. Uh, that's kind of what uh, I would probably look at. I know that uh, around Frog Toad Manor here, there's been a lot of times that we've... Um, you know, acquired things, and then you end up tripping over them. And trying to get everything organized is is for us one of the uh, one of the major challenges. Um, not knowing a whole lot uh, about your preps because you know you just see that little you know spot right there in the video camera. There's Low Buck at his desk, and you see his little wall of water in the back, which really rocks. That's a great idea. Um, that's probably where I'd go is look at what would work for your for your pad you know whether it be you know some industrial shelves uh which can you can find those if you if you watch the warehouses uh people go in and out of business um restaurant supply houses a real big one um down here where we live a lot of restaurants open and close open and close and that gear ends up in these big warehouses and those stainless steel shelves uh, with the wire, they are great for, you know, medium light duty shelving. Uh, and you can hang a curtain over them or a Gadsden flag, like, like Misty Shooter does, if you want, you know, to kind of look kind of cool. Um, and cabinets. Uh, again, not knowing exactly figures that you're talking about. I know we, we just re redid our whole office here uh, out of Home Depot cabinets, and they ran anywhere from... Yeah, we got medium, I would say medium high quality, kind of in the middle. And they were like 70 bucks a pop. And then, you know, you throw them together and some of the base cabinets on the on the ground with, with tops that I built. And then, you know, the regular factory ones up around the perimeter of the room. And you get a lot of, you get a lot of bang for your buck on storage. It just depends what you want to do. But for my contest entry, I just want to say that you might want to consider storage. That was a big one for me and I wish somebody had uh, told me back in the day I, when I moved here that I was gonna have as much crap as I have now and uh, it's been fun trying to keep up with uh, finding places to put it so it's not always underfoot. So hope that helps you out. Thanks a lot. Again congratulations on the 1500. You deserve every bit of them and more. And, uh, hey, we'll catch you next time. Fair winds, Lobuck. Bye.